All right, today I'm gonna tell you guys how to set up your audio interface and record audio into Logic Pro 10. So you see we got our XLR cable, our interface, I got a Presonus audio box USB, a basic microphone, and a USB cable for the interface that came with the interface. All right, let's get into it. So next thing I'm gonna do is plug my USB cable into the interface. And you guessed it, plug the USB into the computer. All right, next, we're gonna plug in our microphone. No matter what type of microphone you have, whether it's on a mic stand, dynamic or condenser, you're just gonna go ahead and plug it into input one on the audio box, like so. And since, since this is a dynamic microphone, we don't need 48 volts of phantom power, so we're gonna leave that unpressed. Next thing I'm gonna do is open up Logic Pro 10. Usually takes a second to boot up, uh, but we'll get to the next step shortly. All right, so you're gonna open up a new session in Logic Pro and create a new audio track. Have it set to input one. Now input one is input one because it's the first input on the interface. So you're gonna have it set to input one and it's gonna go out bus one or you can have it going output one and two. We'll just keep it at bus one for now. But yeah, input one lets the software know where the signal's gonna be coming from. So, create. Boom, you see the audio um, track right here. Put input monitoring on, that means you can hear yourself when you're singing or jamming out, and we'll Turn up the gain for input one right here a little bit. And now you can see when I tap on the microphone, we have signal. So you're now able to record signal. So if I wanted to record right now, I'd press R. And that's gonna allow me to record audio if the waveforms aren't big, you could turn the gain up even more. So now when I'm talking into the microphone, you could see the waveforms that much more. Now, last couple things are, if you're not getting signal right away, you wanna go to Preferences, Logic Pro X, Preferences, Audio, and make sure uh, your input device is your interface. It should be able to read your interface. If it can't read your interface, maybe your interface came with extra software that you have to download on your computer for it to be able to tell it's there. Um, and your built-in output, that's what I use because that just means you're coming out from your computer uh, and going to whatever speakers you're using, etc. So that built-in output is a separate thing that uh, is more up to you where you want the signal to go. All right, that should uh, do it for today. Be on the lookout for more videos. Make sure to click subscribe and check out my SoundCloud, SoundCloud slash Mike Angelo. All right, live long and prosper.